the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service has announced that we're officially in a La Nina phase, expected to persist until March. For context, La Nina, meaning little girl in Spanish, is a cooling event. Stronger trade winds bring colder water to the surface, often leading to cooler than normal temperatures and increased rainfall in our region. What does this mean for us? Well, historically, the dry season is declared in January, but with La Nina in play, we might be looking at a wetter than normal dry season. So stay tuned over the coming days as I break down key takeaways from the National Climate Outlook Forum, where the TT Met Service shared predictions for the upcoming dry season. Now, this morning, many of us noticed some Saharan dust in the atmosphere, which was later washed out by intermittent showers near hilly areas. While the current concentration of Saharan dust is mild to moderate, as indicated by that yellow shading over our region, it is expected to decrease by tomorrow. Now, for those sensitive to reduce air quality, it is possible to expect an increase by next week. So look out for that. Despite that, throughout the day, we experience a mix of sunshine and clouds and isolated showers thanks to that dominant ridge pattern, which was occasionally interrupted by patches of moisture. But as we head into the night, expect mostly clear and a cool night with brief showers possible for both islands. Now, currently, our temperatures are 20, 28 degrees across the board, but it will drop to 22 degrees in Trinidad and 24 degrees over in Tobago go perfect for a cozy night at home now for those that love catching sunrise and sunset the sun will grace us just before 6 a.m and the sunset will wave its goodbyes around 6 p.m the ridge remains in control and dominant, promising another predominantly sunny and breezy day, but expect a few clouds to interrupt the sunshine with the possibility of brief showers, particularly near hilly areas. However, we anticipate a slight increase in moisture due to surface convergence, bringing some cloudy patches and showers during the morning into the afternoon period. These will be intermittent, not throughout the entire day, and similar conditions can be expected for Tobago as well. We will have some comfortable temperatures around 30 degrees for Tobago and 31 degrees for Trinidad. Now, although seas are moderate, a lingering long period northerly swells may cause occasional choppiness, so all marine interests are advised to stay cautious. With that in mind, wave heights currently are reaching up to 2 meters in open waters and about 1 meter in sheltered areas. But before we go, let's check in on that cold front we talked about yesterday. Well, it is still lingering and has drifted further south. Currently, it is positioned just above his Hispaniola and is stretching into the central Atlantic. While this one isn't the strongest we can expect, it's already bringing temperatures down to a chilly 16 degrees in parts of the Caribbean. Crazy to think about. For those in the Northern Caribbean, you might want to keep those jackets handy with a more intense cold front expected into next week. It could be time to invest into those warmer layers.